And when you come into Jannah, the angels are, are the ones who greet you. You know when you come to the hotel in this place, you get a serviceman, he's greeting you. Yeah? Your serviceman, first serviceman inside Jannah are the angels. And they say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To you and to all your family members. All of you. Don't worry, they won't have this American accent. Yeah? Just that but what they will have is they will have the language of Arabic. Everyone in Jannah will automatically speak Arabic. Everyone in Jannah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said automatically in Jannah when you get inside the hadith of Bukhari, you will be like your father Adam alayhi salam, 60 foot tall. 60 foot tall, 7 foot wide. Everyone will be the size of Adam alayhi salam. Everyone will have the voice of Dawood alayhi salam. Because when Dawood alayhi salam used to sing the Psalms that Allah revealed to him, he used to sing it. And he had, a, he had the most beautiful voice any human being ever had. And Allah said in the Holy Quran, Allah said in the Holy Quran in Surah Saad, that when he used to sing, Attaira Mahshura, the birds used to come in their hundreds, in lines, in rows, and they used to sit right around him, and they used to all sing along with him. Even Allah said, Al Jibal, the mountains would sing with him. If you heard his voice, your heart would melt. You know, some people have voices, subhanAllah, he had the best of voices. So every person of Jannah will have that voice. Every person in Jannah will get the beauty of Yusuf. Subhanallah. But don't worry, there won't be any um, you know, other kind of people in Jannah. Only men, men to women and women to men, all right? There's no uh, you know, other business, all right? Yusuf salam, was the most handsome individual. The women cut their hands. They were blood pouring down. Even if you cut your hand, you know how painful it is? They cut it right from between the thumb and the, and the uh, forefinger. They cut it. Because they cut the apple. They went straight through, through their skin, into the meat right towards the bone and they're still going that's you in Jannah brother so you come inside and the angels greet you and you get this the husn of Yusuf and the, from your heart all that hatred is taken out and the fourth thing Rasulullah said every person gets what is what you get the character of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah so you're not gonna hurt anyone in Jannah don't worry if you basically you know Accidentally do something. There's no accidents in Jannah, but I'm just saying if there is, don't worry. There's no hospitals. So if you work as a doctor, you don't get no job in Jannah. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying? There's no lawyers in Jannah. There's no there's no arguments in Jannah. So if you're a lawyer, so there's nothing. No engineers. You don't have to build Jannah. It's all built for you, right? Nothing goes wrong in Jannah. Subhanahu wa taala said in the Sahih Hadith of Muslim, you do not even have anything coming out of your nose in Jannah. You know, you get a cold and <laughs> nothing. You got, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you got basically blow your nose out clean. No, none of that, none of that. There's no bad air in Jannah. There's no bad dust in Jannah. Jannah is perfect. The Surah Al-Dahr says that it never, You will never see the sun in Jannah. There's been natural light. You'll never have a cold day in Jannah. There's no cold, there's no hot. You know when sometimes you feel that, you know on some days you come out and you feel, wow, that, oh, that is nice, man. The wind is blowing just the right amount and the sun is you know on your face just the right amount you know that kind of day that's every day in jannah every day in jannah it never gets and it gets better it always gets better so you can imagine you come inside here there's nothing you know there, no one will spit in jannah you know some guys i can't stand them in this world when they every, every time they're, yeah bro we're talking about. <laughs> they think it's mr bad man yeah it's horrible, it's horrible. Why are you doing that for? I mean, come on, in the, in the Sunnah, Rasulullah said what? He said, even in Masjid, if you see someone's, you know, something come out of their mouth, or their nose, you see it, you better clean it because, subhanAllah, what did Prophet say? He said, Allah has, this is a hadith in Bukhari, he said, Allah presented to me the actions that, the best of actions and the worst of actions. From the best of actions, from, from the best of actions I saw, a man who will remove a harmful item from the pathway. That's the best of actions. From the worst of actions is, there's a bit of phlegm or there's a bit of the part from the nose, okay? Mucus inside the masjid and people see it and they don't want to, they don't want to clean it. That's from the worst of actions. 
So no one's gonna spit in Jannah. No one, there's no toilets in Jannah. Woohoo! You can go, you can enjoy yourself, don't have to worry about the toilet. You can drink, you know when, you, when they drink alcohol, there's a problem of letting it all out, right? <laughs> there's none of that problem. They can, you can drink and drink. No one will go to the toilet in Jannah, and no one, and then that worried the Sahaba. The Sahaba said, Messenger of Allah, what? Yeah, you drink, you eat, all of that, you know. You got the power of a hundred men to eat. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now some people you sit with them in this world, you think, you know, God, take it easy, man. <laughs> before you, you got five chickens, before you take one in, he's taking four. Right? <laughs> God, man, take it easy. You know, there's some people like that. Now don't worry, in Jannah, you got plenty of food. Yeah, you know the food in Jannah is so much. Laila, so much. You can sit there all day and eat. You can eat. Now you got the word, the Sahaba, they're worried. What's going to happen? So Prophet said, don't worry, you just sweat. 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 But what the sweat is, Rasulullah said, your sweat will smell of musk. So when you sweat, it's really nice because you've got nice new perfume on yourself. So she's even dying to come closer to you because you sweat. You sweat inside Jannah. In Jannah, you have your Labinatum min Dhahab, Labinatum min Fiddah. You have certain houses made of pure gold. The certain places of Jannah made of pure gold. Certain places made of pure, pure silver. Certain places pure diamonds, pure rubies. And certain places Allah mixes them up. One brick is gold, one brick silver, one brick emerald, one brick diamond, one brick sapphire, one brick something else. Each one is different. The door of one of the palaces that you've got in Jannah is so big, it's from the earth here to our sky. And you walk inside. When you walk inside, you've got one room that leads to another room that leads to another room that leads to another room, and each one, so the, the, you can imagine the size of these. Each room has got 70 tables of food. Each table has got 70 variety, 70 different plates of food. Each plate has got certain dishes, and each time they take a fruit, you know what will happen? They take a fruit, and you know you get sometimes you get to be spoiled, right? People of Jannah, they get to be spoiled. They eat one fruit and they say, okay, thanks, I've stated it. They give them a fruit and it looks exactly the same. They say, hey, hey, to the servant. You can have loads of servants. Loads of servants. Really nice looking good young servants. All right, but you can't do anything with them. You know what I mean? They will serve you. Allah said, Gilman, Gilman, the young boys that will serve you. Right? And they will serve you and they will give you. Dish after dish, the one giving you one, and the next one gives you another one. They're your servants in Jannah. You tell them whatever to do, they'll do it. And they give you one fruit that is similar to another fruit. Wa utubihi mutashabiha. They're given the same fruit. And say, hey, listen, what are you giving the same fruit? I just tasted this one. Give me another one. They say, no, 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 taste it. When they taste it, the same fruit tasted different. The same fruit tastes different. And some fruits you taste them, each bite you taste, they're always different. Each bite you have is different. So you eat. Allah says what? Lahmi tayri mimma yashtahun. In the hadith of Tirmidhi, a person sees in Jannah, he's sitting down, he's lying down, and he sees a nice bird flying over. He's a real bird, right? Not that other bird, right? <laughs> the real bird. Flying over. So he sees and he wishes that he could have, you know, he remembers in the world he used to love chicken and chips, right? You know chicken and chips? I'm not saying the hadith says chicken and chips, right? But I'm just saying like you probably want that roasted right in front of me, grilled, barbecued, whatever, yeah? So he wants that. He just has his desire and that bird from the air drops right in front of him, roasted. Ready, barbecued, grilled. And he just bunches it, throws the bones away. And when he throws the bones away, that bones become another bird, the same bird and it flies away. I can imagine some of you just looking back and going, right, get back here. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you're too nice. Get back here. In Jannah, they, they have, according to Hadith of Tirmidhi, you have marketplaces. And these marketplaces, when they go there, the marketplaces have designer faces. You don't have no plastic surgery in Jannah, brother, sister, cosmetic, this, that. You go, you have these designer faces. These are real people inside Jannah who've got beautiful faces. And they're all in different places of the market. And you just look at them. You just desire that your face looks like that and your face changes. 
you face changes. But you might get worried now, right? When I go back to my wives there, they're not going <laughs> to recognize me. <laughs> they go come back home and their wives come running out to them. And they say, you look even more beautiful than what you went with the face you went with. You look even more beautiful. They will have 70 pieces of clothes on them. Thin pieces, fabrics on them. Each one is a very delicate fabric on the on the Hawra'in. The Hawra. 70. And through the 70, according to Hadith Muslim, through the 70 of these beautiful fabrics on her, he sees the love she has for him pumping in her marrow bone. Forget the heart, it's in her marrow bone. Allah has created her to see nothing more than just you. Me, you. <laughs> because you, Allah will make her be... In fact, right now, you know, you're in, you're, you're in this, uh, this world right now. You know, the hadith says, Prophet said, you know, when a, when a person's wife says f things to him, bad things. Are oh, you this, you that, you never tidy up, you do our, you know, you get it from your wives. Yes, guys, nod your heads. Say yes. Or is he only my wife? <laughs> Don't worry, she's a good person. Yeah, she's a good person. Okay? She'll be listening to this one day, you know what I'm saying? She'll be getting me back at this. But I say this to, me, to her home as well. She says bad things, whatever. Oh, she, one of your wives said it. You know, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he says, your hurain in Jannah are saying, Are you? Are you? Stop saying that. He's our husband as well. Our husband as well. He's in a hadith. So sometimes I tease my wife and I tell her this. I say, listen, hey, listen, take it easy, take it easy. My wife's in Jannah are saying something. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's in Jannah are not liking it. They're not liking it. Don't say that. And she starts laughing. Right? Just to make her laugh. Yeah, I really wind her up sometimes. I just make her laugh. Because when she gets mad at me, I just wind her up. So, you know, the, the, the women, okay, they're probably thinking, subhanAllah, what are they going to get? They are going to become the most beautiful out of all your wives in Jannah. I didn't hear subhanAllah from you guys. 